Okay guys, it's time to do a bloody game review of the past couple of games between the Habs and the Leafs. I'm not happy, so if you're looking for some faith from a Habs fan, uh, you've come to the wrong place. Cause this guy ain't got any faith right now. In fact, I've got more faith that I can win the lottery this week and uh, I don't even buy tickets. <laughs> so let's begin this rant. But first, if you guys are a fan of the Habs or just enjoy hearing my misery, please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload hockey content daily and would really enjoy if you guys decided to tag along for the ride. Also, I did have a predict the score winner in the game on Monday night against the Leafs. And give me a drum roll here for... Rim Rim, my man, roll up the rim to rim, or whatever they say. He said 2-1 to one for the Leafs, he did say in overtime, but hey, close enough, man. He would also say he hates to say that. Yeah, well, Rim Rim, you just... You knew it, bro. You didn't want to say it, but you knew that it would happen. I know it sucks, Rim Rim, but hey, you're still the man, okay? <sighs> Do you guys remember Claude Julian? Huh? Remember him? Yeah, <laughs> that guy. He must be laughing so hard. Sitting at home right now, he's probably got belly aches, okay? The man is gonna need a tummy rub. Yeah, a good old tummy rub. Because everybody pointed the finger at Claude. We were duped! It was all Claude's fault. Fire his ass. Get him out of here. That ought to fix things, right? We need consistency around here. Jeez. Well, you know what? The Habs did find some consistency in uh, consistently getting worse since the firing of their head coach a couple of months back. I've lost all faith in Dominique Ducharme. I honestly don't even think he knows what the hell he's doing right now. It's embarrassing in my entire life. And I've watched hockey since I was able to crawl. And I'm going to tell you, I've never seen a coach change the line so many times in my entire life. It's embarrassing. And it's the most random lines ever too. Who's on the fourth line? Huh? John Scott? Yeah. Get him up here. Let him play with Danone Gallagher tonight. <sighs> So, Monday night, they lose 2-1 to one in their first game at home. And then Tuesday night, they figured, hey, screw it. We could play worse. And they get shut out by the Leafs for zip. Yeah, not cool. Not cool at all. I can't even think of a player that I could speak positively about right now above the age of 22 outside of maybe Carey Price, who has been battling pretty hard back there, in my opinion. As for everyone else, the veterans, the stars, the core, whatever the hell you want to call them, they're just not. Not good enough from management up there all the way down to the fourth line. It's been a disgrace. I'm sick and tired of this shit. I just want the Habs to have a competitive team. That's it. They played one good month again this year, January. Then they just... <laughs> deflated. I can remember a time when the Habs would go down three games to one in a playoff series and you still had a bit of faith left that hey maybe they can dig deep and get the job done but not this group. I don't see it happening because this Habs team as much as I hate to say it is not built the way Bergevin bragged it was at the beginning of the season. Not even close. Remember that when he said they could play any style you want them to. Any style. Well Bergy, I just want to see goals. After all that's how you win the games right? Goals! <sighs> what the hell is going on here? The Leafs have sucked every bit of energy out of the Habs. And you gotta give them credit. You see, they're moving the puck well. They're getting great scoring chances. They've got defensemen that can move the puck up the ice in a hurry. They've got a top six that they can count on. A bottom six that can grind out games. And one of the hottest goalies in the league right now in Jack Campbell, whom I've got a great amount of respect for. And then I look at the other end of the rink and I see Jack Jeff Petrie, and then I just see five clones out there of the same defenseman. Go ahead, tell me the difference in the other five defensemen. Besides the names on the back of their jerseys, of course, because they all look like twins to me at this point. There's another puck-moving defenseman sitting up in the stands in Alexander Romanov, who played the entire season with the Habs. He's young, he's full of energy, he likes to hit, but they're not playing him, no! Because he doesn't meet the qualifications of being a Habs defenseman. He's not big and slow enough, right? And I'm not saying that Romanov is the answer to win this series. No, not by any stretch of the imagination, but let him get out there, get some experience, and have fun. He adds a different element to the decor than the rest of these Sasquatches. <sighs> 
As for the forward group, I don't even know what the hell to say about them anymore, but I'm going to be releasing quite a few videos throughout the summer on how the hell I'd deal with this mess if it were up to me. And I'd like for every one of you to chime in with me and explain what you feel needs to be done. Anyway guys, sorry for such a negative video and a late video, but hey, there ain't too many positive things to talk about right now with regards to the Habs this week so far. Now, uh, let's hope they prove us all wrong, but for the love of God, don't get your hopes up, and I'll see you next time.